Hypnography is used to monitor the efficacy of ventilation, or the ability to move oxygen in and carbon dioxide out of the lungs. Capnography monitoring provides an accurate measure of respiratory rate as well as CO2 content in the exhaled breath, both of which provide important information about the patient's ventilatory status. Compliance with monitoring via side stream capnography in non-intubated patients, those who are awake and coherent and in control of their breathing, can at times be challenging. This may be due to the need for patients to continuously wear an oral nasal cannula that wraps around the ears. Patients have reported discomfort at the tubing interface with the skin along the cheeks and ears, as well as an odor from the plasticizing material used to, to create the filter line. Lack of compliance with capnography monitoring can result in the inability to adequately assess a patient's respiratory status and hinder the clinician's ability to quickly detect and respond to changes in patient condition. To improve patient adherence, the microstream filter line was modified in several ways to address the aforementioned issues. The tubing material was changed to a DEHP free one that is softer and more pliable to address comfort. In addition, the material has a more neutral smell. The dryer or dehumidification component was moved away from the face to improve comfort and it was lengthened to increase the usable life of the sampling line. Increasing the ability to absorb moisture will increase usable life and therefore may reduce the number of times lines need to be replaced due to moisture buildup. Additionally, modification of the internal geometry of the tubing used for oxygen delivery is now expanded throughout the length of the tubing to reduce kinking, allowing for continued airflow at greater than 75% of the flow rate, ensuring a continuous oxygen supply is maintained to patients requiring supplemental oxygen if lines become kinked. In this study, Volunteers were randomly assigned to wear predicate device and the new enhanced filter lines for defined periods of time or report on comfort and smell of the lines. Result from patient testing the different filter lines indicated a greater patient comfort when wearing the new Microstream advanced filter line compared to the older version. In addition, patients reported a decreased perception of odor when wearing the new filter lines. Drying capacity or dehumidification performance was also assessed to determine the usable life of the filter lines. The change in the filter line length resulted in a greater than 25% increase in the duration of use for the new filter lines. The findings of improved comfort and smell with the new lines may increase patients' willingness to appropriately wear the filter line, keeping it in proper place for adequate monitoring. Increased compliance with monitoring enables clinicians to detect changes in patient condition and intervene prior to the occurrence of adverse events. Increasing the useful life of the filter line should reduce the number of times lines need to be replaced due to moisture buildup, resulting in fewer lines used per patient, which may impact hospital costs. In summary, the enhanced filter lines are composed of new materials and design modifications that were shown to significantly enhance comfort and mitigate skin irritation while minimizing odor and improving delivery of oxygen flow. While design changes were shown to improve patient comfort, the more important outcome is patient safety, which is further enhanced by increased patient compliance with wearing the newly enhanced monitoring technology.